All right, thanks for us. It's a great time to be in the giving spirit as the Norway spruce, look at that, lights up campus Martius Park. Simply beautiful view there. And a break from the rain also couldn't hurt, right Marissa? Yeah, it is uh, something I think we'd all want after today because it's been a pretty gloomy day with a lot of rain, especially this afternoon, but we are getting a break tomorrow. So let's take a look though at rainfall today. We did pick up around about a quarter of an inch to just shy of a half an inch across the majority of the region, but we do still have a few showers out there. Here's a quick look at your rainfall totals though today. All right, another live look over the city. You can see raindrops on the camera. Currently we are looking at temperatures well above the freezing mark. So thankfully again with this storm, it is just rain. We do have some isolated rain showers, otherwise cloudy skies being reported in a few spots. So indicating that we're no longer seeing the widespread steady rain, but we are looking at a few scattered showers. And as we zoom in, you can see those scattered rain showers across the region. Again, a chance, a slight chance for a few light snow showers to be mixed in in Lapeer and San Lake County, but the colder air is farther to the north. And that's mainly where that snow will be staying with this storm system as it continues to move east. As we head through the rest of tonight, I do expect isolated rain showers. A lot of clouds expected to still be across the area. We'll keep those overnight tonight and then through tomorrow morning. Expect a cloudy start to your morning commute likely still some wet roadways and because our temperatures tonight will be falling close to freezing in a few spots i wouldn't rule out some patchy ice so just keep that in mind especially if you're leaving early tomorrow morning i don't expect widespread icing going on but there will be a slight chance for that tomorrow. Now, as we continue throughout the day, a lot of clouds will hang around through the lunch hour. We'll get to some clearing. I think this model overdoing it just a little bit, but some clearing will happen as we head towards the later parts of the afternoon and early evening, and then more clouds will start to filter back in as we head into tomorrow night, all ahead of our next storm system on the way on Tuesday. But let's talk about temperatures first again tonight. Most of us will stay above the freezing mark, but I do still expect a couple of us to fall to 32, 31 or 30 degrees. That will lead to again just a couple of spots of looking at some ice, especially with a few isolated rain showers continuing into the overnight hours. Tomorrow it's overall going to be a chilly day with highs in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. So you are going to want to bundle up, but thankfully you won't need that raincoat tomorrow. It just will be a, a cloudy day overall. Tuesday we have a chance for a little bit of rain and snow with the system sliding in, but for the most part, even though this model is bringing us a chance for some light rain and snow, even starting in the morning, I do expect a majority of the storm to slide to our south. We will get a few showers rolling through, but accumulation less than a half an inch of some snow and with some of the rain, I really don't expect that much accumulation. So not too worried about Tuesday storm, but always keep an eye on that. Temperatures climb though as we head towards the end of the week back near 50 degrees by Friday. Simon.